Always on. On air, online, on mobile. Fox Tito. News at 630 starts right now. If I knew where those boys would be, they'd be here. The Morency, Michigan police chief holding out hope that those three missing brothers will be found. Good evening. I'm Sean Hegarty. And I'm Laura Emerson. Here's the news for Wednesday, December 1st. It's been almost a week now since nine-year-old Andrew, seven-year-old Alex, and five-year-old Tanner Skelton went missing. And now there is word that authorities are planning to step up, or stop, rather, the volunteer search in a few days. Vox Toledo, Sharia Davis, live in Morency now to explain what investigators are planning to do. Sharia? Yeah, volunteers are wrapping up their search today. Uh, they've been out here since 10 o'clock this morning. Right now, they're inside the fire department taking a quick dinner break before heading home and before coming back out here tomorrow morning again. But with all this volunteer search going on, investigators are planning to suspend their search come Friday evening. In Morency, the police chief also announced that an anonymous donor offered a $10,000 reward for the return and or the recovery of Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner Skelton. The boys haven't been seen since last Thursday. Their father, John Skelton, told cops that he gave the three to a woman before he was about to commit suicide, but police believe that story wasn't true. Investigators are trying to remain optimistic, but now since they have the father in custody, investigators do fear the worst. As of Friday evening, they're planning to discontinue the volunteer search and use that time to regroup. I'd like the opportunity to... Uh, process what we've collected through the weekend, what's been searched, what hasn't been searched, reevaluate our direction for the following week. So again, we'd ask that the volunteers um, not come in Saturday morning, as has been the practice. Now, if more tips come in, of course, investigators will continue their efforts in finding those three boys. So as of right now, once again, the search is still on for volunteers until Friday evening. And once again, if you know anything about this investigation, you're urged to call the Marinci tip line. The number's at the bottom of the screen. Reporting live in Marinci, Sharia Davis, Fox Toledo News. All right, Sharia, thanks very much. Now, the, boy, the boy's father, John, is fighting his return to Michigan to face those criminal charges. He appeared before a judge in Lucas County Common Pleas Court this morning for an extradition hearing. Skelton is charged now with three counts of parental kidnapping. The judge set his bond $3 million and has scheduled another hearing for December 14th. Skelton sat through the hearing in a wheelchair covered up with a green blanket. You can see him right there. He also had a cast on his ankle. Skelton had been hospitalized after he allegedly tried to hang himself last week. He is now behind bars at the Lucas County Jail. A couple of hundred volunteers searched Lenaway, Fulton, and Williams counties today trying to find any trace of the Skelton boys. But as our Allison Brown reports, today was pretty challenging for those volunteers because of the weather. Cold temperatures and high winds make your eyes tear up and your hands get extremely cold on a day like this. That's why these volunteers made sure that they were bundled up out here on US-20 in Williams County. I dressed as warm as I could. I kind of expect to be cold, but if I'm cold, it's worth it. Well, I got my car hearts, I got long johns on, I got two pairs of socks, and my neck's all warm, and I'll get my hat and my bigger jacket out of the car and my gloves and hope I stay warm. And hydrated. Morency fire officials are making sure everyone has plenty of liquids. And when it comes to the search effort, officials brought in something you might not expect. Porta Johns. That's because these volunteers need to take advantage of the daylight when they're searching for Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner, and no one wants to waste any time. Well, we're just walking slow, getting a certain distance between each other, and then just kind of keeping your eye down on the ground and moving around stuff and looking around. And if you find something, just don't touch it and call somebody. We're all praying for a miracle. Uh, miracles happen, and we're praying for a miracle. Um, remaining as positive as possible. In Morency, Michigan, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News. You'll want to stay with Fox Toledo for continuing coverage on the missing brothers. We're going to continue to bring you any updates on the air, online at foxtoledo.com or on your mobile device.